my channel. I hope this video finds you all very, very well. Today I have an exciting video for you guys because today we're going to be recreating this bomb ASS look that I created, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, but seriously, um, this look actually was very inspired by my friend Alec. Um, he did not create this makeup look, but he pretty much did because he gave me so many ideas of what I could do. I was just like in such a huge like hole for the past three weeks that I haven't been uploading. I've been creating makeup looks and honestly, I just like haven't been loving any of them. Like any look that I, I've created so far for the past three weeks, like five different makeup looks and none of them I have loved. I just want every single video that I upload from now on to be a video that I'm like really passionate about, that I absolutely love and can see you guys wearing and recreating. And so, you know, it's hard to put out content like that all the time, but when I do feel inspired and when I do love a makeup look that I create, it just like, I just feel so alive, you know? And this look is definitely one of them. Um, so thank you, Alec. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you for inspiring me, for just like uplifting my emotions, my feelings, just my vibe, everything. I love you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, so I actually did ended up taking his advice and I ended up creating this makeup look. I took you know some inspiration from what he was saying and I like as he was just telling me all these things it was just like coming into my head I was just like oh my god yes 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 I so see this makeup look um, I really wanted to create a dramatic look something that you probably will not wear okay something that you really probably will not wear on your Thanksgiving dinner in the living room okay but if you are if you're trying to look snatched okay if you are trying to look snatched on your thanksgiving dinner you don't want to be a basic ass bitch um i would definitely recommend wearing this makeup look because it is like bomb or whatever but enough of me talking so if you guys are interested in learning or knowing how i created this makeup look then just please keep on watching all right guys let's start off with this makeup look of course you guys know the drill. I do already have the left side of my eye completed. Now it's time to complete the right side and show you guys exactly what I did for this makeup look. The first eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use is from Root Cosmetics. This is their Roaring Twenties Reckless Eyeshadow Palette, which is stunning. So, so, so beautiful. And the eyeshadows in this palette are super pigmented and they blend out super amazing. Um, I just really love the aesthetic of this. I love the color scheme in this palette. It is actually actually one of the prettiest palettes I've seen to be completely honest with you I think that just the colors in here just like really just catch your attention and makes you want to create super fun makeup looks this shade is called buzz this eyeshadow is more like a yellow orangey but mostly more or more yellow than anything um, it's kind of weird because when you do look at it it's like a really bright neon kind of orange shade but it the payoff is a lot more yellow than it is orange i am going to be using this eyeshadow brush this is from sonia kashuk i did purchase this from a collection a long long time ago so it is unfortunately discontinued i also did forget to mention i did just pop on like a champagne highlight on the brow bone it's totally optional you don't have to add anything but i i just did that for this makeup look so any just like highlight that you want to add just add it to your brow bone and you'll be set to go i am just going to start blending this towards the outer corner and then slowly dragging it outward towards the brow bone a little bit and i'm also going to drag it all over that crease and right on that outer inner corner i am going to drag that crease really high up also towards that brow next i'm going to go in with the celestial thunder by dominic cosmetics um this is such a beautiful palette also just super stunning Ugh, i love me a good color scheme in a palette i swear this is just like super fun still fun but very neutral very 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 like wearable you know what i mean just i i love it but i'm going to dip into the shade lunar eclipse 
This is more of like a burnt orangey shade that I'm going to be applying right on top of that other eyeshadow we just applied. I'm not going to go too crazy with this one. The first shade um, that we applied, I did try to build that up as much as I possibly can, as you guys can see. But for this one, I'm not going to go super intense with it. I'm going to just darken up that crease slightly. I'm just gonna add the tiniest bit, just adding that all over the crease and outer corner. The next shadow that I'm going to be picking up is also from the same palette and this is the shade Lucid Dream. I'm going to be adding this all over the crease and outer corner. I'm really going to try my best to build this eyeshadow as much as I possibly can as well. Um, but don't worry if you can't get it to be as super pigmented just because I am going to be doing some extraness to it. You guys will see here again, like I said, in a little bit. But just for now, I am going to start building this into the crease. Now, this is going to be the main focus of the makeup look. As you guys can see here, this is really going to make that eyeshadow that we have on the lid really pop. So we really want that eyeshadow to be super, super intense. I'm also going to drag that eyeshadow outward. You guys know I love me a cat eye effect. So this look is nothing new. <laughs> I really want that to be super like winged out, you know? Next, this is also going to be kind of tricky, this part of this look, because it does take so, 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 so much blending, I think, for just this color itself it's going to take a good minute for it to like fully blend out you really want to be careful with this part also just because you are working with a cream and eyeshadow and blending those both together so it does get really really tricky but trust me this is like the only way that has worked for me to make my eyeshadows like super 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 rich and pigmented i am going to go in now with this p louise times mitchell acid rain collection base um, this is called Glow Girl. It's one of my favorite burgundy bases. This just works like a dream. This whole collection, honestly, is just to die for. I really recommend you guys trying your best to get your hands on it because it's seriously the bomb.com. But I do just add the base on the hand, on my hand, on the back of my hand, and then I just kind of swirl the product around just to make sure the brush is covered evenly um, for when you do start to blend it into your eye. Now, once you have that, um, you are going to start blending this into the eye. I know it's a little scary. It's still scary for me even right now um, Even though I've done it a lot of times already, but Just trust the process Promise you you will get better over time, but it is going to take a lot of blending So I am just going to start adding this base First right on that outer corner and you really want to take your time also You don't want to go super crazy especially because like I said you are working with a cream So you really just want to even it all out And blend everything seamlessly I am just going to kind of pack that eyeshadow up a little bit first and then kind of work my way into blending it into the crease you really just want to pack it on first just because, you know, you don't want to move so much product around. You really want to make sure that base is really well blended because once you add that eyeshadow right on top, obviously you're going to be adding powder. So it's really just going to set that base. So you really want to make sure the base is really well blended before you add the powder right on top. You know what I mean? So I am going to start adding the eyeshadow now and it is going to be the same eyeshadow Lucid Dream from, from the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominic Cosmetics. And I'm just going to slowly but surely start blending this right on top of that base. Like I said, you really just want to set it first, pack it on, and then blend. Really gently. And softly. Next, I'm going to go back in with that Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties Reckless Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to be taking this really, really, really dark 
burgundy shade. This shade is called Chippy and I just love it. I feel like this is really going to just intensify the look a lot more. I'm going to start packing this right on that outer corner and then dragging it towards the crease and inner corner. All right, next for the crease, I am going to be cutting it with this Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Sand. I am going to be cutting a crease halfway through just like this eye. I am going to be cutting the crease with, of course, like I mentioned earlier, my favorite brush to cut the crease with. This is from the P. Louise Acid Rain Collection. Just super amazing. Next for the lid, I am going to be using this Wet n Wild liquid eyeshadow, which honestly, they're pretty good. Um, I do see a little bit of cracking here on the lid, just like a tiny bit, but it's nothing major. Um, I do love that the glitter hasn't like fallen off my face already. It's been there for like a good while. So, I mean, it's good quality for the price that this is. So I'm going to be adding this to the lid and I'm really just going to be building it and really packing it on onto that lid just because I really want it to be like super intense, kind of, sort of. <laughs> All right, next I'm just going to go in with the Celestial Thunder Palette again. I'm going to be taking that Lucid Dream and I'm just going to start blending that lid and that outer corner together just so everything can blend seamlessly. And next, for the last shade, I'm going to go back in with that Rude Cosmetics palette, the Roaring Twenties. And I'm going to go back in with that really deep burgundy eyeshadow, Chippy. And I'm just going to add this really on that outer corner. So I am going to be using for liner this Inglot number 77 gel liner, which is one of my favorite liners to use. And I'm just going to be using this Morphe E38 liner brush. I am going to start adding this right on the outer corner first. And I'm also going to leave, I'm not really going to do like, I am going to do a wing liner, but it's going to be a smoked out liner. So I'm not going to add the wing. And then I'm just going to build it up later with the eyeshadow. All right, next I'm just going to be taking a tiny little flat definer brush like this. And this is the Morphe 326. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit of liner to the tip of the brush and I'm just going to smoke that out and slowly start creating a wing liner. Just like really... And you don't have to be so perfect down here obviously because we are going to be cleaning that up anyways. And I am just going to be taking any black eyeshadow that you have and just pack that right on top and smoke everything out. For lashes, I am going to go in with the Schiarelli lashes. I will list them for you guys. And these are in the style Ibiza. All right, moving on to the face. I am hoping everything looks okay because once I put these contacts on, I swear I'm like hella blind. Like it's not even funny, I need to get new contacts. but. I had to put them on for this look so the makeup can really look nice, but let's just pray and hope I can see for the rest of this video. 
I am going to be, of course, prepping my skin before foundation. I'm going to go in with this Pixi Skin Treat Rose Ceramic Cream. This is an intensive moisturizer. This is amazing. If you're someone who has super dry skin, I promise you, it'll be your best friend, okay? Super bomb. So on my last video, I saw a lot of comments saying how I was skipping a lot of parts, which I understand I might have I might have skipped a lot of parts, but honestly you guys, when it comes down to the face specifically, I like to skip a lot of things because I do them in every single video. Like it's the same routine all the time. And you know, I do have videos like specifically like have a how I do my foundation video on my channel. I also have how I contour my face here on my channel. I have how I nose contour my my nose on uh, in this channel. Like I have all of that. But I understand there might be like some new followers that might just like have only watched this video or whatever video. So they really want to like know exactly what it is that I do. But that is the reason why I skip some parts in my videos is because I do the same exact thing. And if you guys watch my videos all the time, I know you guys are probably sick and tired of me doing the same thing over and over. So that's why. But if you guys want me to keep doing the same thing, I mean, shoot, I will do that. Like, you know, I don't mind it. It's just that's the reason why I skipped a few parts. I didn't skip so many, but you know. I totally get it. All right, next for foundation, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wearing Foundation. I have been super, I have been actually really liking this one from CoverGirl, um, the Matte Ambition one, as you guys can see. Like, I, I think I'm almost out, honestly. I really do, <laughs> I really do like it. It's really nice um, and it's super affordable. But anyways. Um, I am going to use this LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Foundation, and this is in the shade Medium Beige. To contour my face, I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And this is in the shade Nutmeg, one of my absolute favorite shades to cream contour my face with i'm just gonna add a tiny bit here on the cheekbones and i'm just gonna flick it upwards and i just go ahead and grab my real techniques expert face brush which is this baby right here which is one of my favorite um blending brushes to blend creams Next, I'm going to go in with the same concealer. This one is just in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm just going to use this to pretty much clean underneath my eyes a little bit. And also to clean up underneath the contour a tiny bit. Next, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. I am going to be using this just to brighten up the under eye area just a tiny bit more because you guys know I love me a super bright under eye area. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this. And I am going to go in with this setting powder. This is the RCMA translucent powder, which I love so much. I do also love the no color powder, but this one to me is just like, I love it even more just because it has like a tint of beige undertone a little bit in there. Um, it's not fully a white translucent powder, which I love a little bit of color into my powders. All right, guys, so I do apologize for the change of, of lighting. Um, it was cloudy earlier today, so now it's like becoming super sunny. And uh, yeah, but anyways, we're gonna move back to the lower lash line. I am going to go in with this LA Girl Cosmetics. This is their Shockwave Neon Liner. Hopefully that can focus for you guys. This is in the shade Fury. And I am just going to pop this on the entire waterline.
Next, I am going to go back in with that Glow Girl base that we used earlier for eyeshadow. And I'm also just going to use a small detail brush and I'm going to smudge all over the entire lash line. And lastly, I am just going to go back in with that Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics. And I'm just going to be taking this shade here and adding that all over and just blending everything together. And lastly, I'm going to go back in with that Rude Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be taking that dark burgundy shade which is this one here. And I'm just gonna add this right on that outer corner, nowhere else. I really just want to blend the liner and the lower lash line together. And for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to go in with Rich Girl, which is this top shade here. And I'm just going to add this to the inner corner. Okay, next I am going to go in with one of my favorite bronzers right now. It's actually not like my go-to bronzer all the time, but I have really been like enjoying it right now. And it's one of my favorites at the moment. But this is the Too Faced and Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer from Too Faced. And I'm just gonna be adding it with this Morphe R14 brush. It does have a little bit of like shimmer in there. So if you guys don't love like shimmers in your bronzers, this will definitely not be the one for you. But since I do love a lot of shimmers, especially like on my cheeks and stuff, um, I love it. And I like to add a little bit to the nose as well. And last but not least, I am going to be adding a little bit of blush. And of course, you guys know I am super obsessed with the MAC Cosmetics Telling Glow Blush which is this baby right here. This one is just like super bomb. Like I love super peachy, orangey blushes with a little bit of shimmer, like I said. So this one is like the perfect shade. I just love it so much. And last but not least for highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm gonna be taking this highlight shade down here. It is so cute. It reminds me of like the Laura Mercier highlight in Devotion, which is also one of my favorites. I feel like they're like the exact same kind of shade. But I do think this one from the Chocolate Bar palette is a little bit more intense than the Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier's um, highlighters are a little bit more subtle. They're not intense whatsoever. But I still love it. I do. It's such a beautiful shade like one of my favorite i think one of the scariest things for me to try makeup wise like makeup products is definitely lipsticks right now i'm in between like my neutral color that i'm always sticking to which is my lip combo and then this one right here what do you guys think i think it can look really nice i am just terrified okay i am terrified i'm scared it's not gonna look good but then at the same time think it will look good i don't know you guys i think i'm gonna ask you guys on instagram because i seriously need help right now hey guys so i am filming at the moment and i am in between i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't know what i should do for my lips and it's driving me insane I'm scared because I feel about dark colors, but I also don't want to do the same thing, which is the lip combo that I'm always doing. So it is between the lip combo to that lip combo. Oh my god, lip combo that I always do, which is you guys know. Or should I do this lip? I don't know. Let me know, you guys. Oh my god, this is urgent. Please, like, please help your girl out right now. Okay, so I am going through all the votes on the poll that I did on my Instagram and a lot of you are saying dark. Honestly, I think I should do dark too. I don't know why. It, it really looks like this could be a bomb mess look with the dark color, right? 
my right oh my god I'm gonna do the dark one I'm so nervous the lip combo that I am going to be doing today is from color pop this is from the I love Sari times color pop collection a while back I think it was like her first very first collection and this is like a very burgundy dark burgundy lip combo so I am going to be using the lippy and also the lipstick Lastly, I am just going to finish off this look using this Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist and I love this. It just melts all the powders, everything together. Alright you guys, so that is it for this entire video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got to learn a lot of things throughout this entire video. I am super obsessed with it. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully you guys can wear this throughout your Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, uh, I know it's kind of crazy. It's a crazy makeup look, okay? It is a crazy makeup look. Like, I don't expect anyone to wear this on the on your actual Thanksgiving dinner with your friends and family. But, I mean, why not, right? It's super cute, super fun. And if you do recreate this makeup look, please tag me. I would love, love, love to see your recreations. Other than that, I really hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving with all of your friends and family. Try not to use your phone so much. Enjoy every minute, every second. Enjoy each other's company. But other than that, I I love you guys thank you thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in my next video bye guys